Okay guys, I wanted to record a quick help video to kind of get you through the assignment today. And this is actually something you've done before. May not look like it, but you do know how to do this. One drawback is, is I can't get the exact picture that's on your assignment on this screen. But what we're talking about is a coordinate grid. We're talking about ordered pairs. And um, we're talking about what happens if we go um, at an angle? All right, so this isn't going to look quite right, but I'm going to put point A up here and point B right here. Now, the ordered pair on this, remember, an ordered pair usually goes X comma Y. X is the side to side and y is the up and down. You're going to notice if you look at your picture, um, it's not the same scale. In fact, a, when we go on the side, it starts at 0, then goes to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and so on. But um, oh, they both do. The top also goes that way, except for it doesn't label every single one. In fact, if you look real closely, A is already at 10,000. So be careful getting your pairs right. You might need to, to be a little bit careful on that. All right, so that's step one. Make sure you double check where they are. So A, its ordered pair is at zero. 10,000. B's ordered pair, I, sorry guys, I did that wrong. Side to side is uh, the X. And side to side is 10,000. And the up and down is zero. B goes straight down, so it's side to side. The X doesn't change, but B goes down to 4,000. All right. After you get the ordered pairs, it's really asking you how far apart are those two points? What is the distance from point A to point B? Well, since it's straight down, this one is pretty much countable. It looks like we just go down 4,000 feet. So distance between those two points is 4,000 feet. Simple enough. But what if we need to go at an angle? In fact, let's just pick one here, and I don't know if it's even one you need. Again, sorry, my computer's being a little temperamental. Let's say that you actually needed to go down to C. All right? Um, in fact, I want to find the distance between point B and point C. All right, point B is at 10,000 and 4,000. Point C, if you look at it, it looks like side to side is at 14,000 and goes down all the way to 6,000. All right, and that should just be a comma there. But what I'm really interested in how far apart are these two points? It's going at an angle. Well, we're going to go back to the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're going to make this into a right triangle. Now, these sides of the right triangle are now countable. In fact, this side goes down 2,000 feet. This side goes over 4,000 feet. A and B are the two legs, the two sides. C is the distance across. So 2,000 squared plus 4,000 squared equals C squared. Now, at this point, 
it becomes just a matter of calculator work. And 2,000 squared, 2,000 times 2,000 is a pretty big number. Um, it's actually 4 million. And the 4,000 times 4,000, I believe, is 16 million. Yes, it is. And that equals c squared. Well, this side of the equation now, all the stuff on this side of the equal sign is, is just an addition problem. So we can add those up, and I get 20 million. I'm still trying to figure out c, this distance across. I need to square root both sides to undo the square. So again, calculator work. Oops. Let me get it in the calculator right. And I get a decimal number, but this is real world. We're going to round, and we're just going to round since we're talking about feet, and we're talking about such a large distance, we're just going to round it to the nearest whole number. Those two points are actually 4,472 feet apart. The important thing to realize here is, is if I'm wanting to drill and somehow get from point B to point C. If I keep going straight, I'm going to go down 2,000 and then drill straight across 4,000. If you think about it, I would have to go a total of 6,000 feet if I went the long way. That's a lot of extra pipe I would need when if I just hit it in a straight shot, I only got to go 4,472 feet. That's going to make a huge difference on my costs. So that is where we want to go on the worksheet. You are going to uh, do problems one, two, and uh, three and four. And I'll have some notes on there for you as well.